Hello Knockouts, Tanya TKO here and I'm really excited about today's video. Right now we are in a really special part of Guatemala called Livingston and what makes this place so special is that this is the part of Guatemala where black people, people of Yo. African descent, oh, I got distracted for a second, this is the place where people of African descent reside in Guatemala and it's a really beautiful really beautiful place so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a walking tour through I've asked people how did black people get here and nobody really seems to know this is a coastal city or a coastal town which means that it's on the water it borders on Rio Dulce and the Atlantic Ocean and um, I took some pictures and put that up on Instagram yesterday of where the Atlantic Ocean and Rio Dulce meet. People have said that Rio Dulce, which stands for sweet water, that the water is actually sweet way, way, way deep down below that if you taste the water that you can taste the sugar in the water, the sweetness in the water. I don't know how true that is because the water has looked very swampy. So me personally, I've not tried to taste it. And speaking of taste, I did taste the ocean water yesterday where the Atlantic and the river meet. And well, the water was clear there, but the water was not as salty as a typical beach. So that was a really fun beach experience for me because I love to swim, but I don't like the irritation that salt water causes to my skin and my eyes etc but yesterday was a really fun experience for me so without further ado well this is what we're gonna do first the word of today the Spanish word of today is muelle I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right no I'm just joking I am pronouncing it right the word of today is muelle and muelle is a strip of wood or concrete or a strip of mass that land that reaches out into the water where boats pull up to and you can embark and disembark on that area. Some people in English may know this word as pier, <laughs> but today the word is muelle and muelle and right now we're on a muelle and I'll give you a round, a round view. So here we go. And you see cars and other boats pulling up to the muelle and you see a guy pulling in a lancha right there. I've, um, I've always known boats to be called embarcos, but here they're called lanchas. Language is a really funny thing in that it can't always be perfectly translated, but the idea is what it is that you grasp when you start to learn a new word. So uh, when you start to learn words from a language, you grasp the, the idea or the sentiment that is trying to be relayed by those words because there are no real per there's no perfect translation. But anyway, listen, let's get on with our tour. All right. So these are some of the lanchas coming into the muelle. And this is a, I don't, I love the way they do the stone setup here. This is a, a little park that has really beautiful stone structure. I don't know what that used to be. I don't know if that's the original structure, but let's keep, let's keep it, let's keep it moving. I, um, what you'll see when we walk around are lots upon lots of black people. And it's very, the population, from what I've heard, from what I've heard 40 years ago, there is a population of about 1,000 black people here, black people of African descent. And then over the years, more and more people from Guatemala have found this to be a safe, beautiful place to visit. So they've come out in droves. Right now the population is about 15,000. Look at this wall beside me. Isn't it beautiful? The population is about 15,000 and at this point, there are more Mayans here than Africans. But, oh, and also, the black people here are called Garifunas and they speak Garifuna and Garifuna sounds like a bit of Spanish, English and an African dialect all mixed together. I think it sounds really beautiful. Sometimes I think that people are saying something that I can understand but none of the words make sense to me. I've, um, I've asked her I've asked for people to tell me how to say different things in Garifuna but the words there are so many different words, just to, like so many different sounds, just to say hello. So, hi. 
All right. So this is a beautiful shop set up. <sighs> okay. The great thing about this town is that it's located yesterday I walked all the way up to the beach and kept walking around the side of the beach and ended up right here which I was really surprised by because I'm like it's like a big circle if you walk long enough you come right back around to the pier which I think is a beautiful and amazing in and of itself. Here are some lovely shops that sell all types of goods. Here's a fruit stand and tourist goods. The closer you are, the closer you are to the pier, the more tourist shops you'll see. Hello! And as you get in further, you'll see um, you'll see more of the local shops and things that are made for the people by the people. It looks like today people have set up their tables outside for selling goods. People selling their jewelry on the side. Lots and lots of flip flops over here. Hand carved items there. Clothing. Lots and lots of clothes shops. Bang. Lots of stray dogs here too, and the dogs look so hungry. Hammocks, shoes and flip-flops herbs and oh it looks like wood items and herbs more tourist stuff right now we're on the main street so you'll see lots of tourist things um somebody selling fresh oranges and fruit okay I smell some delicious curry somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from, but it smells amazing. Lots of little shops on the sides. Selling fruits, veggies. Here are some of the outfits that Mayan women wear. Panderia, where they sell bread. One thing that I find super interesting about Livingston is that the population of black people and Mayans is very distinct and not too mixed, which is really interesting because you would think after hundreds upon hundreds of years, everybody would be all mixed up. But you can see that there's a very distinct difference between the African descent people and the, oh look, there is beach right up this road. I didn't even realize that before. 
Let's walk real quick and see what we see. Yeah. This is just a regular road. Yeah. I'm really surprised because, you know, in a place like Brazil, after all of these years, you know, the Brazilians and the Spaniards or the whomever and whomever have all mixed and you can see, well, I don't know if they've all mixed. I need to get to Brazil and see for myself from the representation that I see online. Oh, wow, look at this. It's like a little ditch or valley. I hear water running. And there are some of the stray dogs. I guess they're looking for some food there. Okay, let's keep going and see. Playa Capitania. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. Playa Capitania. Playa Capitania, Playa Barrique. Okay. So it looks like we are on a cliff overlooking the beach here. And you can see that there's beach all around there. There are stairs leading down. And um, there's also an area down that street. I'm going to be really honest with you. Before I came to Livingston, I was really kind of, I don't know, I was kind of leery. I'd seen some like National Geographic show that was talking about some black population in some place. I don't remember where it was, but I thought it was Guatemala. But the people were like living in huts and wearing loincloths and didn't really have their teeth and stuff like that. And I, I don't know, and they were like not really wearing clothes and they were kind of shriveled from the sun and I was like Ooh. so I thought that that was Livingston but no Livingston is a thriving beautiful small metropolis with cars and stores and people who are happy and doing their own thing and it's amazing and I'm not sure how much of their revenue is gained from tourist dollars but there's a healthy healthy a healthy blend between tourism and regular life so I'm happy about that and I was really happy to come and see that this is like any other part of Guatemala except the people are not subsisting here like they were in that little National Geographic documentary that I saw so let's take another walk down to this this beach up here this is the main street that we were walking on, so I'm just gonna continue to walk straight. What I'm going to do at the end of the video is I'm gonna find somebody who can speak some Garifuna words for us so that you can at least hear what Garifuna sounds like. Okay? So, we are almost at the beach now, and it's amazing because in, let's say, I say under 15 minutes, we were able to walk from the Muelle to La Playa, the other part of the island. Looks like there are people out there today. I will show you what it's like. This is a house right here. And then there's a less developed looking house on the other side of the street. And it looks like a store. And this is Ala. How can you speak? You speak Arifuna, right? Yes. Can you say some Garifuna words for us? You're gonna have to pay us to do that. Oh really? You want to get paid to oh, say so? Because garifuna is expensive. Oh my goodness! So listen, no garifuna for you all to. No what? No garifuna for you. I'm not garifuna. Don't pay her no mind. Okay. No, I'm not. But I want people to hear what garifuna sounds like. Okay. In the beach, people wear. How you doing? In the beach, how you doing? Kabiru, what's the name? 
Her name, Kabiri Marcy. Kaniri Marcy. Yeah, we have our name in common. What are you, Tobe? What are you? She's saying crazy. <laughs> Can you say this is a really beautiful place, Livingston? Be the Meroti Livingston. Oh, that was a short sentence. I, have, I found Garifuna words to be very wordy, but that was. Say it for me again. Be the Meroti Livingston. Okay. Be the Meroti Livingston. Be the Meroti. Meroti. Say your name for us. Mercy. Thank you so much, Mercy. Yeah, yeah right. take care. Sweetheart. I met her yesterday. She lived in New York. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down. I hope you were able to learn some Garifuna words. So listen, I hope that, that you guys can rewind <laughs> and remember some of that. So listen, we're going to go down to the beach and then we'll come back and um, and hopefully, hopefully we can um, we can, I don't know, I would love it if we could get some history lesson on Livingston and be able to, um, and be able to, I don't know, just know a little bit more about the place that we're on. So this is a little store with the palm leaves. And there's a, start, you know, there's an art to creating the palm leaf roofs because, um, if you don't do it the right way, and it's like a secret art, they 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 value it with um with impunity. I don't know if impunity is the right word, but they um they don't let the secret out. And if you don't lay it just the right way, the roof will leak. So this is another house right here. They say they have choco bananas. That's another thing. The word guineo, which I always known to be banana, is called bananos here. And this is someone's house right here. I believe it's a house. It's huge and it's beautiful. And then right across the street, there's this greenhouse. And this is a, look like a store made out of wood. And this is a discoteca with the palm roof that I was telling you about. And then the end of the street leads right into the playa where you have the mix. So this is the beach right here. And that's river water coming down right there. As you see, there's some beautiful places set up on the beach. You can walk straight along this beach and get all around Livingston. And so, and then this statue out there, from what I recollect, that's a statue of Livingston himself. Okay. And so, there is our initial tour. I will try to get some of the side streets um, when I go back up. So what I'll do is when I walk back through the town, I will, um, I'll get some of the side streets so that we can be able to see some of the little shops in between. So I'll be back in a bit. Peace. Okay, we are back on the main street again. I'm gonna walk down one of the side roads, one of the first side roads that I went through when I first came here. I am, um, I, don't, I don't know the temperature, but it's really humid because we are on the water. I'm hot and I am hoping to be able to get this video out to represent what it is that goes on on the side streets. And on each side of the street, there are different shops set up selling different things oh my goodness there's some car behind me like I don't know what this person is doing gosh all right everyone walks in the street here all right so there are like little makeshift shops that are set up as well as shops that are here inside of this is a woman making elotes which is just like grilled corn. I think the name is Elotes. Restaurant. 
vegetable and fruit stands. Oh, it looks like that's a dental clinic. Someone's house. And this store has up its cloth to block the sun to stop from too much of the heat coming through. This is a place. So. This is a fruit and vegetable stand on the corner. This is a kind of taxi with people who are set up on the back of a van. Down this street is really beautiful. And, oops. One thing that I have not been able to find out here are Latano Verde. I don't really know why I can't find green plantains out here. But I've been trying. Most of the plant. Oh! As soon as I spoke of it, I now see some green plantains. There are some green plantains right there. A uh, plantain and a banana are different in that plantain skin. I mean, well, I can tell from looking out the inside of them. Bananas are just shape different. Bananas have a little, a bit smoother edges, and um, the skin is not as thick. And they, I don't know, they just, they just look different to me. All right, let's continue. Oh, I see someone likes Obama. And that's Helen's restaurant. Someone's selling green mangoes. It's like a delicacy out here. You know how most of us, we eat, up, eat the mangoes when they become orange. They serve the mangoes out here green and they put like pepper and, and salt and lime juice on it. It's really tart and it has like all of these different flavors combined. It's a very interesting combination. This place looked like their wall was made out of sticks. Is that bamboo, which has been painted? And ice cream, I should probably get me one of those today. Oh, this is a really big store. It looks like they're selling firewood right here. I don't know what the firewood, let's see. It's like firewood there. I don't know what the firewood is for. Then, shop selling hammocks and other things. All right. So, I think I, no, I'm gonna resist the temptation for an ice cream. It's hot out here. But I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. I'll show you another street. <laughs> Down this street. Let's see if I can zoom. Down that street is, I suppose, someone told me all streets lead to the beach. I don't know how true that is. But I'll show you some more. I mean, it's a pretty short tour. Hold on. I'll show you the underneath of the palm. Okay, so you see, this is the underside of the palm. It looks like the palms are bent to one side. Let's see how it's done. Let's see if we can unfold the secret. They look packed very tightly together. I don't know if we can unfold the secret from just looking at that, but 
there's supposedly a clandestine, very well guarded secret to how exactly the things are laid. So you see you just set up shop pretty much anywhere. You put the, start putting your things up and yeah. sell your goods and you even see like some people selling on the side of the street right here just on the ground. Here's a huge church. I don't know if these are bus stops, but people are sitting down waiting. Oh, goodness. There's a church and I guess that's one of the saints. Nuestra Señora del Bocada. Okay. Oh wow. Making tortillas. of roses okay I hope you've enjoyed this travel tour hopefully I can find someone a little bit later to be able to give us some of the history of Livingston and be able to hear firsthand accounts and examples of what it is and how it is and why it is okay so we will talk in the next video okay to www.tanyatko.com and download your free copy of my guide entitled Truly Love Yourself and Heal Old Trauma and set up an appointment to have a free healing strategy session with me today. Remember, go out there and love one another, but most importantly, love yourself. I can't see it. There it is. Ugh. I can't. I was just walking down this path and I wanted to show it to you all because it's so beautiful. Um. All right. Hold on. You can hear all of the sounds of nature. Okay. All right, let me concentrate on what I'm doing and where I'm going. All right. 